Pan Gongsheng has been named the new governor of the People's Bank of China. The appointment of Gongsheng was approved yesterday at a meeting of the Standing Committee of the National People's Congress, China's top legislature. His appointment comes at a time when China's below expectation growth rate of 6.3% in the April to June quarter has rattled its top leaders. The 25-member Politburo of China, comprising key decision makers of the Communist Party, finally acknowledged recently that weak domestic demand, unemployment, operational complexities in several companies, along with high risks in key sectors are some of the challenges that Beijing is currently facing. His appointment also comes shortly after he was installed as the Communist Party chief of the PBOC earlier this month, a surprise move that analysts said had highlighted Beijing's urgency to bolster the country's slowing economy and stem the yuan slide. So, will this man be able to help China tide over its economic downturn? Pan Gongsheng is a technocrat with several years of experience in commercial banking and financial regulation. He holds a PhD in economics from the Renmin University of China and has received some training from Cambridge University and Harvard University. He was previously a deputy governor of the PBOC and has also served as head of China's foreign exchange regulator since 2016. He was credited with arresting a slide in the value of the yuan currency in 2016. Gongsheng will now be charged with tackling an array of challenges including limiting contagion from the property industry and local government's debt problems, attracting foreign investors to China's financial markets and creating a sustainable exchange rate regime. China's economy is at a critical juncture as its post-COVID recovery is fizzling out and debt levels are soaring. His appointment also marks a revival of the central bank's leadership model before 2018 when one person served as both the party boss and governor. The governor of the People's Bank of China is the most prominent Chinese figure in finance circles, but the post's powers are very limited. China has lately implemented several reforms in its banking and financial sector. Those overhauls were seen as a sign that the central bank would step back from its previous role of leading economic and financial decision-making and focus more on implementing policies from the central leadership. At this critical juncture, it would be interesting to see whether Pan Gongsheng could manage to turn the tide. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.